Stop the cap. Yo, shout out to Edward. It's about 2.42 right now. I just got off of his uh his live. I was in the comment section. And I told him when I came in there uh, that uh, that he beat me to it because I was going to... I was going to uh, basically, I mean, I mean, I, it sounded like he was going in the direction uh, that I was going to go in, uh, you know, but obviously, you know, he came to his conclusion himself and I was coming to my own conclusion, you know, for different reasons. But about the losers in the Manosphere space, because I because, you know, it's like every so often I have to clean house and I have to admonish my own followers you know, and and there's certain people, you know, I haven't blocked them. Uh, there's certain people I want to block. You know, I just let it be. Uh, but there's just certain people that follow me and I know that they're losers. And I can tell that they're losers by the way that they structure their argument. Like there's brothers out here that are, you know, y'all like to use the phrase select men you know, brothers that are, you know, obviously have a life. They're doing other things. They're making money. They only come through and comment occasionally. And when they do comment, you know, the the sentences are structured properly. You know, this proper, you know, breaking apart, you know, of their uh, comments, you know, in paragraphs. Uh, they're well thought out, right? It has like a beginning, a middle, and an end. And they just simply come through and they lay out, you know, what they got to say. And they proofread. And, you know, those will typically be some of the comments that I'll, you know, pin or I'll, you know, post on the, you know, the community tab, right? But they're, but it's like, okay, you know, per, even if they person disagrees with me, they're like, oh, I disagree with you for this reason. And they just simply lay out, what their disagreements are in a, in a mature way, right? I don't care about the disagreement. I care about your thoughts being laid out in an organized way that people can, at the very least, understand where you're coming from. But God knows there is a a a a just a, I don't even know just this this batch of black men that I mean they've been following me since the beginning. But there's a batch of black men that that I figured, you know, that eventually they would, you know, grow out of it, just like I grew out of, you know, a lot of my, uh, you know, hooting and hollering and yelling and screaming and, you know, you know, as as fired up as I was when I first came online, right? Obviously, I'm not like that anymore. I'm more like how, you know, Captain Solo was, you know, when I came online. I still got my, you know my moments where I snap, I see some shit that makes me black out like that damn video of own with the, uh, the women up there chastising that childless man about, you know, him not dating single mothers and saying that his character was reduced down to zero. Yeah. Shit like that'll make me snap, you know, but, um, you get these other, these brothers that come through and they'll whine and they'll bitch. And that's what it comes off. Like it comes off like whining and bitching and, and, you know, they act like they're somehow slamming me, not realizing they're slamming themselves. Like, I don't buy these guys that come through and they want to they want to act like, oh, I'm done with the black community. Oh, I'm out here. We're overseas. Passport bros, brothers, we over here. We, you know, we're in the Philippines. We're in Colombia acting like literally. I mean, I'm going to picture this brother is literally on the beach in Thailand getting a back rub or a back massage. He's on his cell phone. He's laying on his stomach. Girls rubbing oil all over his back and shit. And 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 he gets the the SWB posted a video and he gets the notification and then he opens up the video and then he starts, you know, typing away. Right? I'm like, "Why are you preoccupied with what the hell's going on over here? You know, us with the fine tooth comb going through the details of you know, breaking down, you know, analyzing a lot of the things that are going on in the black community with black women. If you're done, you're done. You hop the fence. You went to Thailand. You went to Colombia. You went to Cartagena. You Wherever the hell you went. Why are you in this space if you feel it's done? You're like, you know, I'm just I'm just here to butt my head in just to say, you know, 
that, that, that these conversations are pointless. Like, that's pointless. It's pointless for you to come into a space where you've already claimed that you've exited the building. Right? We're having the intellectual discussion, breaking shit down further, especially when, you know, things that we speculated on, then we actually have a woman who, you know, makes content or puts out something like this whole thing with, you know, freaking um, Ali Wong. Uh, it, it makes a statement about how basically, you know, she, you know, she wants she wants to have a side piece, right? Which goes into you know the conversations you know with for Harriet and many of the points that she's made, you know, about you know the fact that you know women don't get their you know the rewards in society and that, and that's why they want to come through and redefine things, right? This is this is we're all breaking this down trying to analyze it and understand it. And, I, you know, I'm just putting it in, you know, words and putting it out there as, as like a time capsule for other young men to digest and break apart. And, you know, just like any anything else, when you have white people that examine other white people's shit, like when they, you know, oh, look, you know, well, Christopher Hitchens said this back in 2007, you know, and they, and they sit there and analyze it. But you get these guys who are like, oh, and they, 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 they blow a gasket. That's immaturity to me. And I don't buy the idea that you're out there, you know, spinning the block, you know, running around fucking with a whole bunch of, I don't buy that shit. You know I mean? There's a lot of dudes that, that, I mean, like, in other words, you are who I think you are. You know what I mean? Like you're that guy that just, that, that, I don't even know if the word is dweeby, but you're just that guy that you weren't, you were never running through a bunch of bitches. And if, and if you did get, you know, a few bitches here and there, they were never bad bitches or anything that, you know, would get respect, you know, from other men. You know what I mean? We, we all know that guy. We all know the guy that goes out here and, you know, he, he like, he'll sit there and he's just happy to be getting pussy. But, like, what he's actually smashing is nothing to brag about. But yet he comes through and always acts like, you know, I'm getting bitches, I'm getting pussy, I'm getting bitches. And you just sitting there and you're like, man, Oh, basic ass, you know, and, and the chick, she thinks she's a 10, you know, because she's getting attention from this dude. And it's just, it's just like two losers getting together and you just, you don't care. You're just like, oh, well, here comes this motherfucker with this shit. You know what I mean? Chick got a, 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 a fupa and, you know, she got a janky ass shape somehow. You know what I mean? She might have like one feature about her. Maybe she got some big titties and everything, but she got big titties sitting on a big ass gut and this, and this motherfucker will brag to you about like how he's getting something or whatever. You know, like again, going into the, you know, guys, you know, bitching about, you know, oh, if you want six to goddess, why don't you give it? I don't, I, I still don't understand y'all issue with six to goddess. I don't dive deep into six to goddesses content like that. You know, most of the time, her content is stuff that Captain Solo sends me because he likes to hear a woman's perspective, you know, on a couple of things, uh, you know, and six, you know, is intelligent enough, you know, to lay some shit out, you know, uh, you know, I mean, even even same with, you know, Danikia, like where she if that's how you say her name, I don't know. But I'm saying uh, when she did the whole thing about struggle adrenaline, you know what I mean? Like, you know, how women, you know, go out there and they get with dudes you know, that because they, they need excitement in their life, you know, next time on Dragon Ball Z, find out next week, you know, will we, will we be evicted? You know, you know, will, will the repo man come and take our car? Find out next week on Dragon Ball Z, right? You know, going into the whole, the whole statement about, um, you know, stability is boring, right? These are things that you need to know, like bits and pieces of it. Like you're like, oh, so, okay, so this is what's going on. And here you have women exposing, we're not women, so certain conversations we're not going to be privy to. So when a woman puts the content out there and lays it out, like I can sit there and, and agree with 90 percent or disagree with 90 percent and be like, oh, with this little piece right here. And then when I speak on it and give commentary on it, I, motherfuckers bring up random shit about Six the Goddess that I don't give a fuck about. You know what I mean? Motherfuckers still harping like, again, loser shit. You know what I mean? It's like, oh, yeah, she's a stripper. Everybody knows she used to be a stripper. So the fuck what? We're talking about the conversation that she's having, talking about X topic. Why are you still bringing up the fact that she's a strip? Like, it's like losers can't let shit go. They got some other shit going on with them where they have to, like, 
you know, oh, I hate women or, oh, I hate, I hate, uh, you know, something, you know, the, something about black women or whatever. And they just, and they will not let it go. You, yeah, she's a single mom. We fucking know. Why the fuck are you bringing that up? You know, and, oh, she has no value. She's not, she's not this. She's not that. Like, that's not what I'm listening to her for. The fuck is wrong with you? Like, this is loser shit. This is what losers do. It's like, it's black incel shit, if you want to call it that. You know, and 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 then you get into the the stupid shit where you know motherfuckers just start running around. It's like the guy that you know asks for a chick's number and then when he doesn't get it, you know, oh fuck you, damn bitch, you ugly ass bitch, I didn't want you anyway. Like loser shit. You know what I mean? All right, you didn't get a number, move on to the next one. Nah, 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 I nah, man, nah, man, my ego, nah, fuck that, you know. And and and, and again, when it comes to you know six the goddess and her beauty you know i'm like i'm like it's a good looking woman and as edward said and i'm so glad he said it because the same way that i felt like it's like y'all like again we go out here we walk around on a daily basis okay i got my issues with sisters and you know their appearance and how they put themselves together and how so many don't wear makeup or feminine clothes and don't go to the gym and don't work out okay you be hard pressed to go out here and act like when you walk around, you see six the goddesses all over the place. I will admit that in the South, you will see, uh, uh, especially around HBCUs, you will see way more black women who are well put together than you will in the Northeast. OK, but in the Northeast, you know, uh, I mean, I mean, you know, it's like it's like we got bitches running around looking like by Felicia. OK. And, and, and so, you know, again, I don't know where brothers are in different parts of the country. Right. Different parts of the country, like people down in Houston, you know, they talk about Houston. I've seen Houston women. They look good, too. They always popping in their heels and shit like that. But there are regions in this country where you're not going to see a six to goddess every day. You know, what I mean, and depending on the screen name or depending on, you know, you know, even how the person types, like you can kind of tell, like what part of the country they're from or like they'll have like, their you know, their thumbnail it will be a background picture and. You know, like, you know, if I see a nigga with a with a with a fitted hat with a flat, flat brim, like nigga, I know you from the Northeast. Right. Where if I see a, a black dude and, you know, he's typically with a white tee and there's a bunch of trees in the background, I'm like, OK, this nigga country. You know, what I mean, I'm just saying just on like just on a glimpse. Right. But it's like you, you what the, the issue isn't about whether six looks good or not. OK. Personally, I think that's obvious, overly obvious that she looks good. But when you have like what what black men don't understand is when you say shit like, man, fuck that bitch. Oh, that bitch don't look how, like you lose credibility in so many other areas. You lose credibility. Like if the, if the fucking sky is blue and you don't acknowledge the sky is fucking blue, then why am I going to believe you about about, you know, this this red Corvette? is 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 actually red when when you can't even acknowledge that the sky is fucking blue like why am i going to believe anything that comes out of your mouth you know after that point and a lot of you all don't get that you know like you're just as bad as these women that literally do not won't won't connect what they're saying now to their preceding statement i'm like you just contradicted yourself you know it's it, and, and and there's a there's a short sightedness and i'm saying I don't really think it's I, I don't really think it's gender specific because, you know, I, I, I see men doing it as much as I don't like to admit it. You know, what I mean, I see men doing it just as much as the women, you know, do it. It's just di it just it just presents itself differently. You know, what I mean, but I see these sorts of I mean, look, I, I, I get into it with my own father about that shit because my father, he, you know, he comes from the hood and everything else like that. And. You know, one of the things that people from the hood do, because I didn't grow up in the hood, I grew up in the burbs, and 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 the burbs, you know, there's a there's a bouginess where every argument, you know, you have to articulate your points, otherwise people are going to stop respecting you or fucking with you or listening to you because you never make a valid point. You always go to ad hominem attacks and shit like that. My own father, you know, he gets on that shit. 
you know, it's like you get in an argument, and, and I know there's black people who, who deal with this, but, you know, it's like you get in an argument with your parents about something. Oh, motherfucker, that's why you don't have a girlfriend. You know what I mean? Like, just bringing up random shit. Oh, motherfucker, that's why you had a flat tire yesterday. You know, oh, oh you know, that, you know that, 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 that's why, that's why, you know, this thing that your, your computer broke. You know, just bringing up random, that's why your fly was down. You're like, just random shit. Like, what does that have to do with the fucking tea in China? What does it have to do with shit? Just bringing up random shit, you know, and 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 that's what y'all come off like. And it's like you didn't like you. I'm like nigga, you didn't win. You didn't make it. You didn't make a point. Like it's like y'all think y'all think that the proper response to something that you don't like that somebody says is a your mama joke. Your mama, like I'm like, oh my god, like. It, like that not only not only not only do you get hit with the stupid card but you get hit with the with the you know the the incel card or the loser card because that's the type of shit that losers do winners winners go and they say shit like you know um yeah i agree with this this and this but i disagree with this and then they explain why it's real simple to do i acknowledge this i acknowledge that you know, but this is where, you know, my point of contention. And there's a lot of black men that don't do this. You know, there's black men, obviously, I address the ones, you know, I pointed out the ones that do, and those are the ones that I'll copy and paste comments and stuff like that. Sometimes I'll I'll, I'll copy and paste the comment just to show how fucking ridiculous people's thought processes are. And it's, it, it, it irritates the hell out of me because I, you know, I'm blown away at how the fact, how people can't think. You know, because I'm a thinker. But like I said, it's like, you know, when I play Division 2 and I look at people's builds in Division 2 and you just sitting there, you go to the profile, you go inspect and then you're like, what the fuck? What the fuck is going on? Like you haven't even stripped all of the damn talents off and put it in your library. You haven't even stripped off. You, haven't, you, didn't take, you got you got your bars are all the way to the left. Like, what the hell? You like like and and, they, and, they, and everything is just mis mismatched and the thing is is like no like this is how people like they they think I'm like all you gotta do is read the description they can't read it it's just a video game and they can't read the, the damn descriptions and shit like the on on what does what like you don't even have to do math in that game really it's just you you know you just gotta be a thinker like a basic thinker and there's so many people they can't even basically think. When it comes to playing a video game. So then when, you know, these will be the same people that come to the, the argument space and all they do is make black men or the black manosphere look bad. It's like, nigga, shut up. Like, shut up. No, no, you can't. You can't speak. That's why you don't have any video content. If you could articulate yourself, you probably would have some video content. You know what I mean? But but you get these guys. You know, and I understand everybody doesn't have the time to make video content, but th there's certain people that it's like, you know, I mean, I, I doubt that they'd even be able to crack 53 followers, you know, if they decided to make some content. Because, you know, the people will subscribe to you if you're making some damn sense. They'll click and subscribe on your shit and say, oh, I like this. Oh, I mean, I like how he lays shit out. And they start coming to you and ask you, man, what's your opinion on this? What's your opinion on that? If nobody ever asks you what your opinion is, your opinion is probably garbage. If nobody, if nobody comes to you like in the course of the day, like, hey, man, I've been meaning to ask you, man, what do you think about this? Right. That means they don't value your opinion. Your opinion doesn't mean anything. But yet you'll you will you, some of you guys will come online and you'll write in the comment section and think that your opinion means something with the ad homonyms and name calling. And then again, you know, going into areas you don't need to go in. You can disagree with six the goddess without saying, oh, six the goddess is ugly. I'm like, oh, my God, man, like this is just dumb. if she's ugly. I, give me give me hideous. Give me hideous. You know what I'm saying? If, if that if she, if. If if that's where if that's where ugly starts, you can give me hideous, cause I'm sure it'll be all right. You know what I mean? I, I, and then and then again, like the type of bitches that some of you niggas fuck with that you'll see at fucking Walmart. You know, it's always a, it's always the skinny nigga with the fat bitch. You ever notice that skinny skinny nigga with the fat bitch? You know, and and, and these will be the same niggas in the comments section. Search the goddess. That bitch don't look like shit. 
I see better bitches at Chick Fil A. The fuck you have? The fuck you have? You know, I mean, but but see, don't see the goal here is just to try to hurt somebody. It, it's try to insult somebody, not to convey your ideas and your points and your thoughts in a concise manner that other people can respect and say, okay. I don't agree with you, but I can totally see where you're coming from. I see how you got from point A to point B, brother. I get it. Let me go back to my lab. Let me go back to the bat cave and now analyze what you just laid out. Nah, 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 not with some of these niggas. But these niggas go into retarded realms. And then, and then and, and again, they'll go into, like Edward said, they'll go into these black female spaces, They'll go on to the Facebook. I, you know, I, you know, he said Facebook. I was like, man, I, I'm like, I'm YouTube is enough for me. I can't even think about going into, you know, Facebook and Instagram and fucking, you know, uh, Snapchat or whatever other shit people use. You know, I can't even think of going in there and arguing, you know, you know, with that shit. You know, one of the things that I like about YouTube is like YouTube's permanent. And you can easily go back and look at like previous content. You can't really do that on other platforms. Shit just gets lost in the shuffle. You know what I mean? I don't particularly care for that. You know what I mean? But there's there's certain there's certain people. This is the, the fucked up part about the internet. Is there's certain people that really shouldn't have a microphone. They really shouldn't. You know, it's like they they need to leave it up to the to the intellectuals because it's like you're gonna fuck it up. And then, and then, you know, it's like low-hanging fruit. You get the women, they'll sit there and they'll grab the shit and, and, and run with it and be like, see, this nigga, look what he's saying, some some ridiculous ass shit. You know what I mean? Like, like again, I didn't get, I didn't get you know, um, you know, too terribly upset. I got upset with the, you know, the the, the, the women on the panel of OWN and, and, and them going up there. But like I said, when I made the video, I saw enough comments coming from women that they weren't co-signing that. They're like, yo, this is a bad look. And they shot that shit down. They're like, yo, you don't criticize a childless man about not having kids. You know what I mean? Or or, or not wanting to get with a single mother. You know what I mean? Because just imagine if black men were up there talking about, you need to go and you need to get with black men that have kids on national television. Black women would have a fucking field day. They wouldn't like that shit. You know? So it just, it, we just have... Certain people, honestly, that really just shouldn't talk because, you know, they end up being ammunition for the opposition, ammunition for the other side, uh, and just making, you know, the black manosphere look bad. And and the same can be said, you know, with black women and, and, and you know, th- th- I mean, pretty much, you know, every clip that, you know, Pink Book Lessons, you know, posts of women and their bad behavior and their, you know, broken logic and, you know, just, you know, just some of the ridiculousness, you know, that comes out. Um, and what else was I going to say? It was something else I was going to touch on. Oh, I remember being perfect. You know, a lot of, you know, Edward was saying it and, you know, I'm not, I don't have any issue, you know, with him saying it and other people in the comment section saying it, even though, you know, some of the names that I saw in the comment section, uh, that were, you know, crying about, you know, whatever the idea of me having any sort of um, balance are some of the very same niggas that I'm talking about right now in terms of them being losers. And not all the people in the comment section, just certain people in the comment section. I I took note. I'm like, oh, I've seen that name before, you know, because they'll be in my comment section and they'll be you know, you know, foaming on, at, in, you know, at the mouth on some, you know, how dare you six to God is strong, nigga. Why don't you go over there and fuck six to God? You know, I'm like, because I said the woman was attractive, like, like they get triggered by shit like that. But, you know, the other thing is, is just this whole idea of black male perfection. Right. Where, where, where black men are perfect and absolutely everything uh, is the fault of black women as though black men don't have any foul shit that they do, right? I'm not saying that on the scales of justice, you know, that they're equal because, you know, as you all know, you know, I, I, you know, my scale is heavily tipped, 
you know, against the women, you know, because of a lot of the manipulative shit that they do, the fact that they have custody of the kids and they raise the kids and, 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 and they try to create these sort of Franken niggas. And then when they create a Franken nigga, you know, they, they wash their hands of it when, you know, the boy is dysfunctional and then say, oh, it's because his daddy wasn't there, even though she was trying to fill his head, you know, with bullshit, fill his head with lies. This is one of the reasons why Captain Solo is angry with his mother, because she filled his head with lies that were not real about the true nature of women. And that caused him to have, you know, interpersonal relationship problems with women later on, because, you know, he thought that what his mother told him was, you know, you know, the true story. And it wasn't the true story. Not that he didn't gain any skills or qualities from his mother that he thinks that, you know, yes, all men should have. But again, it's that lie. And I talked about this before with boys being very angry at their mothers because their mothers, they they protect their daughters. Tell, oh, boys are dogs, men are dogs, all this other stuff. But when it comes to the boys, they don't tell their sons the true nature of women because, again, you have that whole, you know, womanhood and personhood not being one and the same. So if you want to defend, you know, you know, women and girls, right, that's the womanhood component, right? And then you have the personhood component where you are the boy's mother. But see, the thing is, is there's a difference because fathers, as a rule, will tell girls about the true nature of men and how men, you know, lust and desire sex and all that other stuff because they don't want their daughter out there you know, be in a thought pocket. But mothers, on the other hand, mothers will tell sons a whole bunch of bullshit and the boys will go out here and get fucked up and then black women run around, you know, as mothers like, why do a black men, they hate us? Because you lied to them, that's why. Because you didn't tell them the truth. And he went out there and got burned and got his heart broken and stepped on and everything else. But y'all ignore all that because you want to act like boys don't have a heart, right? But anyway, I'm saying, you know, that's part of the reason why I have, you know, such issues with, uh, you know, black women on that front. But when it comes to uh, black men, you know, I mean, there's like these the guys that want to act like, you know, black men are perfect. Yeah, maybe you didn't do it because, you know, you just never had the opportunity to do it. Right. But to sit and pretend like black men are just so perfect that there's there's just absolutely nothing that black men contributed to or some foul shit. You know, I'm like, I'm like, you're, you're demonstrating the foul shit. You know, as soon as a chick doesn't want to talk to you, oh, she got to be all type of a bitch and everything else, right? You, you start running around saying things that are wholly untrue, like Six the Goddess is ugly or that she's unattractive. You see, it's shit like that. And, you, and, and a lot of y'all don't really think about the damage that you cause, even though you're trying to hurt feelings, but you think they just bounce back from that shit. Some of the shit that you say, that, that, that shit swims in their head for fucking years to come, and they still remember you. you. You the motherfucker that they'll bring up on Jenny Jones, and they'll be like, you know, you harassed me in the third grade, and I never forgot about it. You know, like that type of shit. You know, like shit that you, shit that you stopped thinking about, but they kept thinking about. I would never say that black men are perfect. I would say that we're a lot more honest and straightforward than women. But I would never say that we're that we're uh, we're perfect. Some things that we're imperfect on is just, are just things that we overlook. It's not a matter of you know some sort of malicious intent. It's just we just overlook it. You know, the overlook you know how a woman feels about a you know certain things. You know, but, um, you know, even getting to some of the commentary that was in the comment section on, um, you know, Edward's page, it's like it gets to a point where it's like um, some of the commentary coming from black men is like, yo, do you even did, did you even ever like black women like ever? You know, it seems like there's, I don't know, childhood traumas, shit they're angry about, you know, me, like, I'm like, yo, I just, I wish you would stop. I wish you would lose the weight. I wish you would stop being on matriarchal shit. I wish you would stop having bad attitudes. I wish that you didn't have somebody else's kid. If all that was changed, hey, it would be, it would be a wonderful world, right? But some of you all, you know, and, and again, you know, this has been said numerous times, you know, and, and again, how is this supposed to be interpreted any other way? 
right? Y'all, you know, somebody wrote a comment talking about, you know, black men trying to prove, prove themselves to black women or something like that. Or prove that they want black women. And I'm like, how, how would you, in other words, you're mad about the idea that I'm suggesting something like that, but yet you haven't firmly established that you're even into them like that. How, wh- why would they even think that, right? When you're shooting down Six the Goddess and saying that she's ugly, you know, like that. That again, that's extreme, and and you're not. A lot of you all are not paying attention of how much you shoot yourself in the foot, right? Yeah, good looking woman. You know, but I don't like these things about her. Hey, I can't knock you on that. You know, you don't like, you know, like, like Edward said, he felt that she's, you know, I I don't know what he said, manipulator or something, you know, or petty or something like that. And I'm like, well, I mean, she didn't. First off, I don't know anybody who's hood who isn't petty. And she's already admitted, like, you know, she's 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 street. You know, I mean, that's 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 her background. Right. So it's like that's to be expected. But, you know, some of you guys, you go into areas that you don't need to go into. And once you go into those areas and you start shitting on shit all because you're trying to, like, throw shit at the wall and hope it sticks just so you can hurt some feelings. You know, I'm like, sometimes you end up going into territory that now you've said what you said. Now you can't take it back. You know what I mean? Now you can have a, a, a black woman. She ain't done nothing. She got no kids. She looks decent. But she's looking in the mirror and she's saying, well, I'm not as hot as Six the Goddess. And if Six the Goddess is ugly, well, then what does that mean about me? Oh, I guess these brothers don't like sisters. I guess they really don't like black women because, damn, Six the Goddess, I mean, you know, she's gorgeous. She's she's inspirational. You know, that, that's how, you know, many of the, the women look at, you know, Six the Goddess. You know, she does... uh. And, and that's another thing, like, I, it, the the whole thing of, like, weighing shit out. Like, Six the Goddess, before every video she does, she does a makeup tutorial about how she does her makeup, okay? Personally, I don't think that there's enough black women that wear makeup or understand the whole less is more type of thing, right? I'm not big on the foundation thing. Clear that skin, clear that skin up. But eyeliner, mascara, eyeshadow, lip gloss, scissors, you know how to do all that type of stuff. And she's doing that. Like, like majority of her content is in agreement with black men. Majority of her content is helping sisters be better versions of themselves for us. And somehow, some way, all of that gets ignored. And Six Goddess makes video every so often whenever i happen to go over there where she's beefing with somebody about some bullshit and i'm like oh my god like and this is the whole problem with with uh you know like black people and like donald trump or black people and the republicans right like we can't we can't focus on a means to an end you know what i mean like like it's like yeah yeah six you know she gets into this bullshit and that bullshit so the fuck what overall this is beneficial for us. No, we don't do that. See, that's the shit that white people do. You know, when white people white people will sit there, they hate black people, can't stand black people, but will co-sign a black person espousing their their viewpoints because it's a means to an end. Right? Don't care nothing about black people having guns. You know, if it was up to me, no black people would have guns. But I support Coley on the war because Coley on the war supports the Second Amendment. And the rights that allow me to have guns. So if that means a, a couple of niggas here and there are going to have some guns, <laughs> so be it, right? They go right with it. Niggas, on the other hand, no. Niggas are like, no, fuck that. I can't vote for no Donald Trump because, uh, I, I, I mean, I mean, Donald Trump is racist and he ain't sucking our dick enough and kissing our ass. So nope. Donald Trump could bring black people reparations and, and, and black people would be like, nope, nope. He didn't say he loved us and clicked his heels three times. I'm like, oh my God, what are you doing? Nope, nope. Donald Trump must tell us he loves us first before he gets reparations through the door. Like this is, this will be black people. The Republicans 
have to get on their knees and beg for forgiveness right before, you know, we co-sign anything that they do that ultimately is going to be advantageous to us. This is black people. You know what I mean? And this is what black men, you know, tend to do when it comes to, you know, sisters. It, it, it's like, it, it, I, I, I don't get it. I don't get it. It's 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 simpleton mindset. It's a dumb ass mindset. But this is what we do. This is what we do. You know, and, and again, when you get into the realm of where you can't admit, you know, to, to, to certain things like, yeah, we do do that. That's fucked up. I'll acknowledge. OK, fine. You know what I mean? Like if you can admit even just a little bit, even if, it, again, on the scales of justice, it doesn't weigh the same. But if you can't even acknowledge it again, now you get into the realm of you don't have any credibility because you can't even acknowledge, you know, simple things. You know what I mean? I mean, acknowledge it and then come with a bigger counter. Right. It's just like this shit with, the, you know, black women, the black women are not protected and all this other shit. And yet we got cemeteries full of black men because a black woman made a phone call or pointed a finger. Right. Or made up a lie. You know. So and quiet as is kept, Captain Solos had that in, in his own family. A woman that, you know, lied and said that a sexual assault happened that didn't happen. And then she later admitted later on that is because she was mad at the guy. And 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 Cap had to reevaluate his stance because he could have killed somebody and went to jail that day off of a lie. You know, so you know, you got to be able to to counter, you know, the, the the you know the shit that they say. But counter it intelligently, and I don't see that from a lot of black men in the manosphere and online, I see a whole bunch of, you know, name. And I'm saying not from the content creators, but from the dudes in these comment sections, in these comment streets. You know, and they don't know how to properly approach a problem. I don't need to get into the name calling. I don't need to get into, oh, you're stupid. <laughs> I, I don't need to get into all that. I sit there and let them talk all they want until they talk themselves, you know, to 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 be able to hang hang themselves literally. You know what I'm saying? I'm like I'm like oh you know you 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 freaking uh you know uh, uh I'm trying to think of a of, of a good example you know like just like with Aisha K. Fans when she made that point you know she was like uh you know talking about women love power women love power women love power and then Carl was like um. Uh, uh, maybe you should date men, you know, that are, that are subordinate to you, so, you know, since it seems like you want to be in this position of power. And she was like, I don't date nothing but powerful men. She snapped. And it's like, ah, see, gotcha. Gotcha. You know, and again, this goes right into the freaking Ali Wong, the Ebony K Williams, you know, this goes right into the women that are attracted to men, you know, who are powerful, but yet they want to be powerful themselves. You know what I mean? It reminds me of, uh, Al Pacino in uh, The Devil's Advocate when it was like when he was like you know talking about the devil you know look but don't touch you know uh, you know uh, what was it look but don't touch you know uh, touch but don't taste taste but don't swallow you know what I mean that sort of thing and 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 that's kind of how women are you know it's it's, it's you know they're, they're like walking contradictions yes I want a powerful man but I don't want him to be able to tell me what to do well if he's not capable of telling you what to do then he's not powerful so how do you want to how do you want to play this how, how do you want this well i want him to be powerful and i want him to wield the power to to uh oppress other people but just not me <laughs> like, like okay so 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 he goes out into the world and he oppresses other people with all this power that he has but then when he comes to you he bows he bows down before the queen and, and then you pull out your your broadsword and unite thee on, on by tapping you know his shoulders and shit. I'm like yeah okay, you're fucking delusional. You know, but um, yeah, I mean this is just something that brothers got to work on, man. I mean it seriously got to work on. See it all the time. You know I hate going into other people's comment sections. I mean motherfuckers just saying just just dumb shit like like Edward was bringing up. You know the other racism men ain't gonna want you. You know what I mean? Like, nah, like we already know what time it is. 
There ain't no fucking fence surrounding these women preventing white dudes from leaping over the fence and getting to them if they wanted to get with to them or any other race of man. Again, black women have enough negative bullshit when it comes to their reputation. They have enough going on, you know, that they have to correct independent of us. We don't have nothing to do with that. When it comes, you know, their interactions with other races of men are their interactions with other races of men. We don't have nothing to do with that. They want to sit there. And, the reason why these men, they, they've tried it. The reason why these men don't want to deal with us is because black men are telling them awful things about us. We don't have to open our fucking mouths. You know, bro, I know black men running around saying, you know, uh, Chad, you know, don't mess with them sisters because, you know, uh, they, they, they crazy. No, nah, hell no. First off, we don't even like white supremacy. So if we got problems with sister and the sister's acting crazy, oh, please, we, 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 where do we get front row seats of watching a white dude get fucked up by messing with key, crazy ass Keisha that we can't even deal with? I mean, where are the front row seat tickets to that shit? <laughs> you know, but anyway, I'm just saying, like, we got to. We got to stop that shit. And brothers should be checking other brothers, you know, about that. Like, I, I don't know. I mean, I've been here on here long enough to where the, the criticisms, you know, the criticisms that I've um, um, that, that I've made, like, I expect to, like, see other men's criticisms structured in a similar way. Right. If I'm the godfather of all of this or the father of all this, the actual father of all this, that's what I expect to see. Like, nah, chick, you know, that's bullshit. That's bullshit. It just in other words, the same way that Dr. T. Hassan Johnson dissected Umar Johnson. In his uh, awesome uh, uh, review of the Daily Wrap Up crew uh, versus Umar Johnson, which it really wasn't a versus, but. You know, for all intents and purposes, it was a versus. But, um, you know, the, he went point. He did, you know, classic SWP style, went point for point, play it, pause it, play it, pause it, play it, pause it and lay out what you disagree with. That's what black men should be doing. Right. When you want to, you know, argue your points and you're in comment sections. But no, nah, y'all don't do that. Y'all get it. Imagine if Dr. T. Hazard Johnson was just like. You know, uh, why are you listening to Dr. Umar Johnson? I mean, look at his haircut. That's not an argument. You know, uh, Dr. T. Hazar Johnson, see, the only reason he's saying all this shit is because he wants somebody to fund his school, right? He brought that point up, but that wasn't the only point that he articulated about what Dr. Umar Johnson was on. He didn't just leave it there and then be like, oh, that's what it does. See, that's what he's on, right? Because even uh, Dr. T. Hassan Johnson doesn't have any evidence of that. But again, looking at Dr. Umar Johnson's behavior, right? If I didn't say Dr. T. Hassan Johnson first, I meant to say Dr. T. Hassan Johnson first. Yeah, Dr. T. Hassan Johnson's, you know, he doesn't have any evidence, you know, of that. You know, it's it's a, it's a speculation. He didn't just throw that out there as though that was all of his argument. But that's what some of y'all do. That's what some of y'all do. I mean, y'all, I mean, look, the the, the manosphere is already fucked up. Yeah, I mean, it's already demonstrated itself to be weak men, you know, in terms of uh, doxing people, bringing up people's children, bringing up people's families, uh, you know, even some of the stuff that I've heard uh, with uh, whoever it was, that uh, sent uh, uh, flyers or, or whatever bullshit to uh, 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 Crystal and Karazin's home. You know what I mean? I heard about that. You know, it's like, uh, like, why are y'all, like, why can't you just argue the fucking points? Why can't you just argue, the, like, 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 I'm saying all of the information online is there for people to fucking, you know, to, to you know, in, in this manosphere space. You have more than enough ammunition from people who are more articulate than yourselves and yet you use none of it you go right into the name calling you go right into the doxing you go right into the character assassinations right you go right into the 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 lies and the rumors and shit like that like 
That is bitch nigga shit. Sorry, but it is. It's bitch nigga shit. You know, and 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 you know, I don't know why uh this shit persists. I, I, I can't wrap my head around it. You know, but I'm addressing it. That way nobody can say, oh, you didn't address it. That's not the reason I'm doing it. But, uh, you know, it's like I, I I have my days where I just get sick and tired of it. You know, I see it. I'm like, yo, you're hurting the black manosphere. You're hurting the conversation. You're not making the space better. You're making the space worse. And those of us who value the space, you know, it's going to get to a point where you know, we really need to start openly checking these dudes about making, you know, uh, shit ass arguments or name calling and ad hominems and character assassinations and all that other dumb shit that these brothers are doing in the comment section. You know I mean, I don't need to sit there and talk and go into a woman's looks. You know, she's a single mom. She's got kids. I'm childless. I can leave it right at that. You know what I mean? I don't have to go and attack a woman's looks. You want to get oh, oh, I'm an atheist. I don't I don't I don't believe in religion. I don't think we're compatible. I don't even have to get into you know 50 million other things as it pertains to, you know, her and I and why we're not linking up and all this other stuff. She can throw color as colorism at me all day. I'm like, I'm an atheist. You're 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 a devout Christian. This isn't going to work. Leave me alone. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Like like there's 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 you you got to go to the most pertinent issue, the most pertinent topic, and and this is this is your going to be your strongest argument. Maybe you do got some other things going on in the background. She don't need to know that. You know the, the, the I mean you, I mean the, the, I mean there's so many off ramps to this highway. It's not even funny. Now I'm saying if you want to have a honest and genuine conversation you could say you know well actually this is the biggest reason why you got disqualified but you know yeah you know i got other shit going on in the background you know if if i want to be honest about it right you, you could throw that up there if you want to have an honest conversation about that and you know if there was some reciprocity she would do the same you know but um you know we we, we, we don't have those conversations you know the divestors they like took over the women's side and these incel uh, manosphere dudes have taken over the male side. And so it's almost like what you see in politics where, you know, it's like the progressives in the liberal party are like, you know, everybody should be gay. Right. And then you got the conservatives, you know, that are on the far right that have their warped idea of you know, white uh, uh, nationalism, right? White supremacist nationalism, right? And then, all you know, the Republicans that are more moderate, middle of the road, you know, probably Republican in certain areas, but liberal in others, right? All those people don't have a voice anymore. All the moderates, all the sensible people, all the, I don't agree with everything the Republicans doing, and I don't agree with everything the liberals were doing. You know, the people that would come up with compromise like those people don't have a voice now it's just the nut jobs you know it's the it's the it's the divesters running around talking about bullet bags it's it's the it's the it's the you know the the incel you know black men that are saying you know that six the goddess is she's ugly i mean what's the difference between saying six the goddess is ugly and you know the the the, the woman that was up on the panel shaming egypt shaming <clears throat> whatever the brother's name was on own and saying that, you know, uh, that all of his financial achievements and mean nothing. And that because he doesn't want to date a single mother, that his character goes back down to zero. You, do you not see how those two things are the same? I'm like, really? So he doesn't want to, so he's childless. He doesn't want to date a single mother and his character is now zero. Okay. And you, you disagree with six, the goddess and now because you disagree with Six the Goddess, <clears throat> she's now ugly. I mean, this is the same bullshit that Kevin Samuels had to go through. <clears throat> you have people, oh, we disagree with Kevin. Oh, that nigga's gay. Right? And, and 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 we all know straight up Kevin had some very feminine tendencies. You know, I mean, I saw that picture where he was wearing the white pants and his legs were crossed and shit like that. Yeah, you know. 
that's that's what you see in the metrosexual space of men. But I'm saying, you know, like I had to make the video, uh, and then and and been following up. That's when you know Kevin gave me the shout out. But I'm saying, you know, that whole you know Kevin's all because you know they disagree with what Kevin was saying. All of a sudden, he had to be a flaming, raging homosexual and wanted nothing more in his life to be bent over by a big, burly man. Like, the fuck? These are not counter-arguments. But yet, there's so many people in the black community that treat it as such. They act like they won. They, they, they you know, and, and, and again, I hate to say it, but, you know, I attribute that to a lot of ghetto ass black people who think yo mama jokes are uh legitimate arguments and they're not you'd be hard you'd be hard pressed to find a you know a, a circle of random black people and be able to have some cohesive intellectual conversations without somebody getting in their feelings or wanting to fight somebody it's just like that remember that dude i was talking about you know, you're not going to run shit on a bitch's dime. And what did he say on that blog talk radio show? Some of you remember. He was like, come see me in Cali, nigga. Come see me in Cali, nigga. You know, all, all he wanted to fight me. He wanted to fight me. That reminds me, yo, whatever happened to the real AIX? Remember the real AIX? You know, because he was out there. He was out there in Cali. I think I, I think I saw one of his channel like a couple years ago, you know. I remember when he, he, you know, he was going through some shit, but <clears throat> I'm just saying, like, brother was like, come see me in Cali, because I said, I dare said that you're not going to run shit on a bitch's dime, because his, his woman was sitting right up on the radio talking about, you know, I let him lead and everything. I was like, yeah, key operative word, let. You know, fuck out of here. Motherfucker got mad because, you know, I, I, you know, basically embarrassed him in front of his own woman. I'm like, come on, man. I'm like, you're not selling this. I'm sorry. I'm not going to let you sell this idea to a bunch of young men and then her on, on her bullshit, you know, co-signing it. Yeah, because she she liked the power dynamic. And this is the type, again, going back to the manipulation and the type of shit that we always talk about, you know, when it comes to, uh, you know, these women, they, they co-sign all of this role reverse, all this, everything that they complain about black men, they co-sign all of it when they think that, it's something that they can leverage. And then when it doesn't pan out and doesn't work out, then they'll quickly do a 180 and then claim to be the victim and claim that he was always on some dusty shit and that he used his Jedi, his Negro Jedi mind tricks to try to, you know, freaking manipulate her into being in this compromised position. And it's total bullshit. You know, and that's how you end up with these, you know, relationships where the dude ends up putting hands on the woman because she tries to renegotiate the terms of the relationship halfway through the relationship. And then the dude's sitting there feeling some type of way like this isn't what I signed up for. <sighs> but anyway, I just I just I don't I just I, didn't, I, I, I knew I was going to get to like 50 minutes. I didn't want to make this video this long. I, I remember I was looking at this. And I was looking at 22 minutes and I was like, yeah, I'm going to wrap it up soon. I'm going to wrap it up soon. Nope. Wrong. Wrong. <laughs> but anyway, I, I just had to make this video because it's just it's, it's, it's been going on for years. I don't think it's going to stop because I'm making this video. I'm just saying I know what it is. I know what it looks like. I know how to identify it. Um, and, you know, something needs to be, you know. As a collective, because, you know, I'm just one person now, nah, something collectively needs to be, you know, done about this and called out about it. And, you know, I think that, again, the men that value the space, you know, should not tolerate. We should have a zero tolerance policy on bullshit ass responses that, you know, have no what do you want to call it? You know, bullshit ass responses that, that just make us look bad as a, as a group of men. But anyway, that is all I have to say. That's my video, SWP out. Don't forget to comment, share, like, and subscribe.